Hello everyone, welcome to another bicycle vlog. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Yeah, I haven't been outside in a long time, so it feels kind of weird. I think I haven't been outside in, um, I would say like two, two or three days. So it feels kind of weird just being outside, but um, yeah, I've just been feeling really lazy, but I like, I gotta like force myself to come outside like force myself to come outside and make a video so I end up I end up just um, when I come out I feel a lot better when I'm outside so it's just that I think that's just my personality like once I get going I get going but once I stop like I'm just dead in the water I can't I can't get started yeah once I'm started I keep going once I'm stopped I can't get started so I had some uh, I had a bunch of topics that I want to talk about today actually but I'm not going to um, one of it was where is the best place to live in Japan and I had another topic about something else um, but um, I thought what's more appropriate is the updates in Japan and I'm trying to go through more of these smaller streets because I do like looking at these Japanese houses and I do like showing you guys these Japanese houses so I always try to go through these small neighborhoods but it's never like forever neighborhood it just like it stops like I can't just keep going like this it stops somewhere and then it's like a big field or like warehouses or you know it's like a big street so um, I can't really just keep going through these small streets but I'm going to try. So I'm already kind of lost. Yeah, see like right now it's, it stops. And once I go that way, I'm gonna, yeah, see, I gotta go this way. Yeah, it's not like everything's like perpendicular to each other. It's just everything's kind of in like a windy road. And I, I always wanna try to show you guys something different, but it's hard because I end up in the same place always. But um, yeah, today is uh, June 20th. So, and that's another thing too. I wanna go somewhere where it's not so noisy. Cause if you go on the big streets, you're gonna hear a lot of cars. So I always try to go to these small streets. But anyways, yeah, today is June 20th. This video might be out tomorrow. But the problem is when I do like these hour long bicycle vlogs, it takes a lot of time to process the 4K. So it might take like two days. So sometimes I just, I just put it out and just let it go. And it will be like 1080p and it eventually turns into 4K. But um, I'm gonna go this way. But yeah, I kind of like these hour long bicycle vlogs. I don't know how long I can do these for. I know I keep saying that in every video, but I kind of like how I, I'm not rushed to talk about the things I want to talk about. And I can kind of just enjoy slowly riding my bike around here. But um, look at these basketball courts. This is what, what, I think this is like a middle school or high school, but there's no like cement. It's just dirt. None of these basketball courts have cement floors and i mean like look at the boards they're so old it's like north korea or something i mean i bet north korea has these types of uh, basketball basketball hoops it's the same in korea's too um it, i think it used to be like that in china but i feel like nowadays china is so big on basketball that they've that they've um have better basketball courts with cement but uh, yeah i kind of regress but yeah i want to talk about the update today is june 20th and today is officially the end of the lockdown so i've been waiting for this for a long time because i haven't been able to go to a lot of places that are open because they're closed i don't know if that makes sense but um i mean a lot of places are still open but it's like it's hard to know which places are because the rules are like up and down and then the businesses choose they just keep changing their mind sometimes it's open sometimes they're closed and so today is the official official date of it being opened go this way let's go this way 
and uh, so I, I was saying that they're going to do another lockdown and that's what everyone was saying in Tokyo because the Olympics is in a couple weeks now what is it yeah like two or three weeks four weeks maybe a month I know it's like July something July 23rd but um they're having actually a quasi lockdown which there's still it's a it's still a lockdown but it's like they have a bunch of rules for businesses so i believe like kids are even at school on sunday it's crazy kids are if, if you're part of a sports team look at this kids are here this is a high school so if 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 you're in a sport i think saturday and sundays you still go to school i think this is a, yeah i think this might be a high school but um yeah, so they're having like a quasi lockdown, quasi lockdown, quasi lockdown, which means, um, which means they have a whole bunch of rules. One of the rules are, one of the rules are like they can only open or they can only have alcohol from 11 to, to 7, and they can only drink. For 90 minutes so if you want to drink you can only drink for 90 minutes and in between 11 and 7 o'clock which is weird because I think that's where they they kind of see where the uh, clusters are the clusters are between like restaurants because it's like you know it doesn't make any sense like you gotta wear it's just like in America too where like you have to wear your mask and then you go to the restaurant and all of a sudden you take off your mask it's like you're protected no so yeah i don't even get that either because you, you know you have to take off your mask to eat but then when you're eating you're going to talk and then you know this this thing is airborne and it's all over the air well i think it's airborne because of the the the, the little mists the little droplets that come out of your your mouth um so um i believe yeah, when they're eating and they're like talking and chatting, I think that's when there's like clusters, especially if it's not um, like, see, like the street is so loud now. But um, yeah, if it's like, if it's like, uh, there's no, there's no um, air going out of that space and just there's no circulation, you know, the, the only thing circulating is the virus if somebody has it, if one person has it, so. They're uh, one of the rules. I think that's where they're trying to like lock it down, where they're trying to um, they're trying to just get those kind of rules, which I don't think is gonna work. Like that, that doesn't make any sense. Like even you get all, you get more you get ninety minutes. It's like an hour and a half. So you can't you can only drink for an hour and a half, but that's a long time to be drinking. You can get pretty wasted in an hour and a half. And I think another issue is the, the night the nightlife. And even though they've had this lockdown, I've seen many, I've seen many, um, we're gonna take a right here. I've seen many like nightclubs. Like I follow, I follow a couple of um, nightclubs on like Instagram. And um, we're gonna go this way. I don't know what it is. All right, so uh, yeah, so I follow a bunch of nightclubs on Instagram, like around here, and um, I follow some people, some people that 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 go to these nightclubs, I guess, because I follow a bunch of Japanese people. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I follow some uh, girls that um, that partake in these uh, activities that work at these clubs too, as well. Um, but um yeah i've always know i always see the stories and the stories are they're they're like in the nightclub and nobody's wearing a mask and like some of these people are like waitresses and um it's like like this whole time people are having lockdowns outside but yet they're inside drinking and partying and um no masks so I think that's where the biggest, you know, that plus um, like the shady, shady, like, um, what would you call it? 
um, illegal illegal prostitution I think that also happens as well you know like they you know, well, I don't even have to explain but you know that's probably going to um, spread it and also like these host clubs I think I'm sure like the really expensive host clubs they do have something like wear a mask but I'm sure like the 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 smaller ones like the ones that don't make that much money they probably don't really require anybody to wear a mask all right I think I'm lost yeah see I, I try to go to different places and um, but what is this whoa I don't even know what this is okay okay we're gonna go through here oh that's cool i didn't know you can go through here Woo! it's uh really low i almost hit my head all right i'm gonna keep going through these small neighborhoods i think this is some sort of like sewer plants maybe or just a river there's a train right there oh you can see so the meiji factory is right there it's the whole facade is a big chocolate bar i don't know if you can see it but i always see it on the on the on the train I and mean, there's the hankyu all right so um where am i going i'm gonna go this way let me check it out over here yeah it's like i can't because I'm like close to a mountain, I can only go, I can only go north, south, and west. Because if I go east, I have to go up a huge mountain and in a huge incline. So I usually don't go that way. I did go a couple of times in these bicycle vlogs, but um, yeah, anyways. Oh, where was I? Okay, yeah, so I think those are like the biggest transmission right those like the illegal prostitution um the red light districts and like the host clubs and regular nightclubs and then people that are eating at restaurants because for the most part I know my, like my girlfriend is scared when there's a lot of people but i feel like japanese people they don't talk a lot on the train actually you don't you're not supposed to talk on the train so you're not gonna you're not gonna give off anything you're not anything something's not gonna come out of your body you know what i mean and um you know when you're walking outside there's if you're out in the open i feel like you're pretty safe um not a hundred percent safe but i i feel like you know you don't have to worry too much but you know if you're if you don't wear a mask and you're inside of a small space or um you know you're drinking and there's people who are talking very loud it's probably not going to be that safe anyways um yeah so those are the rules and then uh, what else i want to take a picture of this car i just saw it's pretty cool this is a 240 oh look at this i think it's a sylvia actually it's pretty nice a bit older this is what I do. I take pictures of cars while I'm doing my bicycle vlogs. All right. And then, um, I've never been in this area. And so that's, that's, uh, that's one thing. And, um, what are some of the other rules? Uh, they, they have a whole bunch of rules placed, but you know, I don't think everything's set in stone yet. Um, yeah. So Tokyo's going to have that quasi quasi oh the train's coming check this out oh my God. that is so loud i hope that didn't um, pierce your ears because it just pierced mine hopefully it doesn't sound too loud in the audio i'm just gonna keep going straight anyways uh yeah so they're gonna have like a quasi type of um measurements in tokyo before the olympics look how nice this is take a picture of this very peaceful 
I probably wouldn't want to live near. Oh, sorry. I probably wouldn't want to live near the train, though. It's pretty loud. Okay. So yeah. Um. And right now, as far as like the vaccines go, there's only like. They're only doing like one center in the city. Like I think Osaka only has like one mass, mass vaccination center, and it makes it hard for the elderly to go there because, um, like I said in the other videos, the elderly they don't like to go too far. Everything is in your area. Like if you lived here, there's a grocery store, there's a bunch of clinics, there's everything that you need in like a ten minute radius. So anybody who, who's who's living in like this type of area you don't need to go too far like i don't need to go too far if i need anything i got the dentist i can get acupuncture even um grocery store. i live by many grocery stores i live by home improvement stores so they make it really easy for people because they know that not everybody has a car so they make it really easy for people to just use their bicycle or even their scooter so um they're, they're not they're not gonna you know the elderly are not gonna go to um, a mass vaccination center if you're like 90 years old and um, wait in line so basically what they're supposed to do is they give you a voucher and in the mail what is this oh my gosh oh, oh. all right we're gonna walk this this is too hot all right so they're supposed to send the voucher through your mail and then you take that voucher to the vaccination center <sighs> I don't even know a car can go through here all right that's nice and see this is what I need I need some fresh air I've been just kind of stuck at home watching a lot of movies and by the way I'm still jobless I'm going to probably find a job soon um, probably like next next month I'll probably start working or something like that um, but uh, yeah sorry I kind of again I don't know which way to go a lot of breath there maybe I want to go along here maybe I'll go through this through these small streets all right so uh, Oh, look at these nice houses. I'll show you guys real quick before I start talking again. These are brand new houses. You see? This one, they're just building. This one's pretty brand new. This one's pretty cool. Um, wow, this one's pretty big, actually. They always make them really small and narrow. I don't think they have, like, a, like a height. Like, there's no, like, height regulation but there's a width regulation so they can't they can only build so much in a small space but this house is really huge probably expensive got a range rover outside yeah these are brand new houses and then compared to these older houses these probably made like 40 years ago all right so what was i saying yeah sorry guys if i'm like not speaking right um i get distracted really quick so uh what was i saying what was i saying okay so yeah in tokyo they're having the quasi oh quasi lockdown oh the vaccination so the vaccinations yeah so they're only like one place to go and i i saw like a picture of um people trying because like you can also go to a different place to get the voucher then take it to another place to get the vaccination that's just how it is in japan you have to go through like you know you have to go to you have to wait in a bunch of lines to go to one place so um i saw a picture and they had they had like people like waiting like a lot of people waiting and it was like a three hour wait just to get the voucher and there was, I mean, that's kind of like, I feel like that's like a super spreader event. If you have all these people, ironically, waiting for the uh, vaccine. But at the same time, it's possible to get the virus if you're waiting with like a bunch of people in this closed tight space. Um, so yeah, they're talking about 
they're talking about trying to get everybody vaccinated by November. Everybody. And the thing is with that, there's a lot of, there's not a lot. I feel like the only a small percentage are anti-vaxxers. But they have, I said this in the other video too, that they have a lot of anti-vaxxers calling in and harassing and making death threats to people. Which is kind of crazy. It's, it's kind of extreme, these people. Um, and I think it's just like a small group of people because I think the, the most majority of people would just take the vaccine. They want the vaccine. Um, even though they're like, you know, they're very like kind of questioning, questioning about the, um, the, the side effects and all of that stuff. And we, they don't know the long-term effects. Um, they still will take it just for... Just, just is how Japan is. They listen to the government. They listen to, you know, it's, it's, it's more like they care about, it's about caring about other people, right? Taking the vaccine to, to help other people. That's just, that's just like the culture. And so I think the majority of people will take the vaccine, but there are a lot of anti-vaxxers who are protesting and just being crazy and, and like, um, like, yeah, calling in these call centers and like, doing like calling uh, making like death death threat death threats and and all of that so man i'm lost okay <laughs> all right um yeah so um they uh, and then recently they wanted to vaccinate teens and then it was kind of like they want to set up these mass uh, vaccination centers at the schools but then again a lot of people there were a lot of emails and um complaints through the parents and so they've kind of retracted that um retracted that uh plan and now they're not going to do it so they're they're going to they're going to give vaccines to to teens in school if they want it now because before they're going to do it to everybody which i think that's like the best thing what is this a coca-cola plant this coca-cola bottles japan you know, you gotta take a picture of this. I mean, it is Sunday, but it's but such a small, just such a small factory. They probably don't make any coke here, huh? Oh, you know what? I think it's abandoned. You know, it'd be cool if I can get in there. It's probably locked. You know, if I wasn't such a scary cat, I'd probably go into these. Is this like a fake one? Look at the, the sign. It says Coca-Cola Bottlers Japan. Maybe they bottle the, the local stuff, but it's so tiny. I do want to go inside. I'm, I'm afraid it's ghosts. I mean, I'm sure they lock it up, right? Unless you go through like a window. All right. All right, so uh, yeah, um, yeah. I think they should vaccinate all the kids. That's how they, I feel like that's where it, they say that kids are less likely to spread it. But I feel like the kids, they don't really listen. They don't want to wear the mask. I've worked with kids. I work with kids and um, you know, they fiddle around, fiddle around with the mask. They're sneezing in it. They're picking their nose through it. It's pretty disgusting. But um, so yeah, so they want to get everything um, they want everyone vaccinated by November and they also want to do like a travel bubble and that's like big news. They want the travel bubble um, starting from July, but the problem is other countries have to, you know, agree with the travel bubble. They can't, they, they just can't just say, okay, we're going to do a travel bubble, um, but other countries have to agree with it. But the thing is, I'm sure there's some sort of plan being worked out right now. You know, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not part of the government. I'm just... A stupid guy with an old bicycle riding his bicycle around these neighborhoods so you know these are just some of my assumptions I'm, I'm telling you facts and some opinions um, so they're they're gonna do a travel bubble they want everybody to be vaccinated by November but also to Korea as well they want to be they want to do a travel bubble as well and they want everybody vaccinated by September so Korea should be vaccinated by September um, Canada wants to do a travel bubble and they're, they'll probably be vaccinated um, by that time too. So 
What I'm thinking is, um, is that, is that all? yeah, I wanted to also talk about um, travel, but I just wanted to make sure I finish up everything I wanted to say. I like some of these houses have like palm trees. Yeah, so, um, yeah, people who are, because I know one of the, one of the subscribers here, he's going to come visit, he was saying sometime in November. It's a really close call. I'll, uh, it's really hard to say. Um, personally, I think I'll be traveling. I'm not sure what's going on with the, these guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's like so hard to say because like maybe they're trying to do the right thing. Maybe they don't want people to be dying or complaining. Where like as America, I feel like personally i feel like they're they're more they're more inclined not inclined but they're they don't care to take the risk like if a bunch of people die from side effects um they don't really care they're not going to take risk claim responsibility whereas japan if somebody dies from the vaccine from side effects the government gets all of the uh, criticism because um even though japanese people listen to the government and listen to what's right they will still criticize if they do the wrong thing i think and that's just my opinion i think they're just there's such an like a high expectations for everybody whether you're working in a company or you're working at a restaurant there's an expectation for everything here so for a government, you got, there's such a, they probably have the most extreme um, expectations. So if something goes wrong, they get all the blame. So I can understand that, you know, they don't want to make any mistakes. And like they, they have that AstraZeneca, they got a whole bunch of AstraZeneca vaccines, but they've, they've just, now they're just giving it away to, uh, there's, um, I saw an article, they're going to give it to, I forgot how many million, but they're gonna give it away to a bunch of Southeast Asian countries. So they've given some to they give some millions to Taiwan, and they're gonna give a bunch of millions to some Southeast Asian countries because I think the AstraZeneca ones have those rare blood clots, and it's like such a small percentage. But um, but you know they don't want to take that risk because you know you get two people that are having blood clots they're gonna they're gonna get they're gonna get i don't know what the word is they're gonna get um crucified from the people so so yeah um I think that's what they're doing. They're just being really careful. And um, I, I feel like I have a lot of hope, <laughs> but I have a feeling that with this Delta variant out and the lockdown was finished, you're gonna see a lot of cases coming back again. Right now, it's anywhere from like 50 to 100 cases per day in Osaka. Um, I think it's almost similar in Tokyo, if not a little bit more, but um, look at this chocolate, like can you imagine waking up and, and coming outside and you see like this big chocolate building here? It's nice, look at this, it's kind of an eyesore, <laughs> but um, but yeah, so um, yeah, so I think they're just kind of they want to get the best of the best, that, and that's how it is in Japan. Like, I think I've shown you guys in um, when I go to the electronic stores, I never see like, well, not never, but I rarely see um, the the cheap TVs or okay, I want to say the Chinese TVs because yeah, I don't think anybody wants these Korean and Chinese TVs, even though they're great. They always want the best of the best, the best sharp TV, the best Sony TV. And I think I, that's just my impression of Japanese people. Like when you go to the, uh, the grocery store, you always get, you always see the best of the best vegetables and fruit. And even if it's like still, you still have like five days till it gets old, but well, that's just an extreme. But, um, you know, they're already on sale. They don't, Japanese people don't like these types of things. And that's why I think they have so many discounts on these um, 
on these foods in the grocery store. Um, I remember I met a Thai woman who married a Japanese man, and it was like a was like a free Japanese uh, lesson at like a community center, and the the Thai woman was telling me that her that her husband. I, I, I don't know what the case is. I mean, this happens a lot where Japanese guys will marry like um, um, like some a- Asian, sometimes East Asian women, maybe Philippines, Thailand. But this, this is a, she was a lot older. So she, I think he was like 50 or something. But I do see a lot of older uh, Japanese men marrying like younger um, Southeast Asian women, particularly Filipino women in, in Japan. I've actually known one woman. She was like 30. Her husband was like 55. I was like, what? It's crazy. Um, and he looked pretty old too. But yeah, this lady was she, was... she wasn't that much younger. She was like the same age. She was, she was an older Thai woman. But she was telling me that she has to go to the grocery store every single day. She doesn't work. Uh, I think they met in Thailand. And... Um, yeah, she doesn't work. So basically, all she does is care for this, for this, for this man. And I think that's oh, look at this RV. Man, that is one funky looking RV. That is so cool. I want to do this one day. I want to look inside. It's cool. I'll take a picture of this. It's a Mazda. It's a cool looking. So you can like sleep upstairs and stuff. Yeah, like a lot of these RVs, they're not like American RVs because they, they, where are you going to park a huge RV? That's like something, it's kind of like a old van mixed into one. Hopefully one day if this channel gets huge and I make a, you know, a little bit of money and I don't have to work so much. Not that I'm working a lot right now, but I will once I get a job. Um, I want to, I really want to get one of these RVs and just drive across Japan. And the other other day, I was thinking about just riding my bicycle across Japan. I I I have this I like this um, yearning, this want. I want to do that. I want to get a bicycle because I seen I saw a video. Got a guy rode his bicycle from Shanghai all the way to the UK. He's originally from the UK, and I want to do something like this someday. So hopefully I get some views one day and, and one day I'll do that and just go take my bicycle and um, look at this. Wow, look at this Corvette and this Ford. It's kind of like it's a Ford F, it's a Ranger maybe? Wow, that's crazy. These Corvettes are like prices of like a Ferrari here. I think this is the, um, this is the older one. C8, this might be the C, C, this might be a C8. Then you got this, this uh, Ranger F-150 on a, on a, on a lift kit. It's pretty crazy, look at this house, it's pretty crazy. But see, you see the daily, the daily is like a Prius. That's what they do here. They daily like the, the smallest cars and then the other, the nicer cars, they just, they don't even drive it. All right. This shack over here. All right, sorry guys, I kind of um, went off. Oh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so um, yeah, that's kind of how it is. Like, um, uh, they they say that a lot of women here are more focused on their careers, but there's still a lot of women that just stay at home and kind of um, be the housewife, and they're kind of that role in the house. Not all, but there are a lot like that. Where I feel like in America, it's kind of like 50-50. Um, but there is still that kind of like... That kind of... Um, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I, I got a new part-time gig. Like last week was my first time and it was this family. And I think it was the same. I was... The, the boy's like two years old. I might continue it. And the mom just like stays at home and just takes care of this boy. And the dad works but what was weird is they had this apartment and all the windows were kind of like like glaze like you couldn't see through it the only way to see it is if, if you opened it and a lot of these apartments like they don't they're always like closed it's almost like 
a lot of Japanese people don't like being out in the sun. They wear like those things on their arms. They don't want to be tanned. Um, I think, I think there's some sort of like um, negative connotation, negative, uh, negative image if you're a little darker than the average. I think that's how it is in Japan, especially if you're a woman. See, like this lady is just wearing like a full cloak, like full arm sleeve plus hat. Uh, go this way yeah so um yeah this whole this story went so long so basically um this lady has to go to the grocery store every day and um let me find out where i'm going i have no sense of direction right now yeah so um oh, look at all these uh all these vending machines Got beer, ice cream, cigarettes. It's crazy. You can get everything there. All right, I think I know where I'm going. All right, so yeah, so yeah, she basically you had to go to the grocery store every 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 day to get the food that's fresh and i told her why don't you just freeze it and she said no her husband wants everything fresh and but i mean this is just one story but i'm assuming that's how everybody is <laughs> that's a the terrible way to think of things right that's kind of like generalizing but i do generalize a lot i do stereotype a lot i don't i don't believe it but i don't believe it 100% but i'm just going to just take that information and kind of just put it in my file and just, you know, kind of store it there. And when I hear more of this, I kind of just base my assumption. But my assumptions are always wrong too, sometimes wrong. So yeah, I think that's how the general population is. They want, they want the best. If they're gonna get the vaccine, they wanna get the best one, you know what I mean? Like, I think China has their vaccines and they're willing to give it to people but the thing is the countries don't want to take it because you know they have like a bad rep this house so let me try to think where i am but so many schools around here it's like the fourth school i've seen oh and by the way if you need a like elementary school i think you can go to any elementary school but for high school you have to take like a test and um if you don't do good on the test you have to go to a school full of kids that didn't do well on the test so i, I think that's kind of unfair so it's like you have a school with a lot of smart kids and then you have a school with a lot of not so smart kids so and when i found that out, i was like wow that's kind of i think that's how it is everywhere like in china as well but um yeah, so as far as travel goes, I think I think they'll let the students in first. They really need to get things moving. And again, I'm just assuming just on the information that it is um, that's that I've been seeing. But I think Japan is really ready to get everything going, kind of like America is, and just kind of pushing everything forward. And uh, you know, we'll see from this Olympics. Can they do it safely? I don't know. Um, with this Delta variant, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure if if they're gonna pull this one off. But you know, they gotta do it. They gotta make up some way to from all that lost money. I'm sorry if it's windy. By the way, I'll protect you guys. Maybe if I go on this side, do this. You can do it. I don't know if you can see that. You can do it. All right, I don't know what this place is. It's pretty cool. All right, so um, yeah, they want to get everything going. The Olympics is gonna happen. I think that's gonna be the the big thing for now. Just trying to get the Olympics up and running, and just to see what's gonna happen from it. Is it gonna do well? Is it gonna do not? I've I've also read today that um, one of the the teams from Uganda had tested positive for tested positive so he is in quarantine um right now but um 
I think they I think they can do it. They can think they can pull it off. The problem is this new variant is very contagious and the vaccine they're just doing it so slowly out here. And um Yeah, is that cool? People are riding. You can ride your bicycle up this bridge. Oh, to get across. Should we go up there? Yeah! Let's try it. I mean, I could just go across the street. But I guess this is for people as well. Oh my gosh. I need a boost. There's one side. Here's the other side. See, I could have just, could have just walked across there. Maybe this light is long sometimes. It's kind of unnecessary to have this bridge here. Oh, you can go across over there. I'm a little out of breath from that. I'm coming down. Oh, people are, people are coming up here. Maybe not. All right, we'll go this way. All right, so, um, let me just check my camera real quick, making sure it's not overheating. Oh, we got about like 10 minutes. I think it's pretty good. I didn't know if I can talk about an update for an hour, but I think I did. Yeah, I, I think it's good because I can just take my time. But, um... Yeah, I think it's been harder and harder to just like, just get myself outside and make these videos. I think I'm at like kind of like a plateau. Um, I was at a plateau before when I, in the very beginning, I would only get like 25 views per video. Now I'm getting like at least a hundred or more. Um, but I feel like I'm, I am at a plateau, but I'm going to try my best to keep going. Um, yeah. And I've been getting a lot of good ideas from the, um, the people who are watching. So thank you for that. Um, keep the ideas coming. I'm going to try to try my best to do a lot of them. And um, yeah, keep going with this and just having this uh, the community that's out here for me. I don't, not for me, but just the community that's here and just helping along, doing all those comments. I see you guys. Um, I really appreciate all the, the, the comments that you guys leave if, if you guys if anybody watches this whole thing but um yeah so like uh i think as far as like as far as like tra traveling japan i feel like if you're from certain countries you'll be able to come here maybe by the end of this year i want to say because I mean, think about it. If they get if if they get everybody vaccinated by November, you know that's that's really close. And I'm talking I'm talking end of the year, like December, um, if not at the beginning of January. But I think they're going to let us out before that. I would say. So if if Thailand doesn't get like the full uh, herd immunity, I think I'm going to. Well, I think I'm going to um, go to Korea. Korea is close. Look at this scooter biker gang here with their souped up scooters. But yeah, I think I would want to go to Korea. If Korea can get everybody vaccinated by September, I think that's one place we'd want to go because it's cheaper to just go there. 
and um, I would feel safe there. I feel like they're doing it pretty good over there. I think they're doing it right. So I would just think, and we love Korea. We love going to Korea. So I think that would be one place that we would go to. Um, another place would be China, but I'm not sure what they're doing with, the, I think they got to have some sort of relationship. And um, right now, Japan and Korea are not, they don't really have an amazing relationship, but they do have some sort of relationship. But, um, because they, they're, I think they're like, are, they're, Japan has like this argument against ownership of certain islands. So I'm sure you, you've never heard of this, and I've never heard of it before coming here into China, but. Um, Japan and oh, me, Japan and China have um, a dispute over these islands for a long time, and it and it causes a lot of um, it causes it causes a lot of anger from from Chinese people. Because when I lived in China, they're always talking about this island. It's always on the news. It's a lot of propaganda, and and you know people in um, people in J Japan they don't know anything about these islands because it's not really. I don't know if that's part of the government's it's part of the government's um thing but they never um they never um talk about it so they don't if you ask a japanese person about these islands they would have no idea and then they also have another dispute with um i forgot what the chinese islands were called chinese japanese islands. i don't know what's called but i know right now they're having a dispute over the Korean island, Korean Japanese island, it's called like Dokdo Island. But the fact is, I think it's Korea's island. Not because I'm Korean, but uh, it's, it's, it has a Korean name. And if you have, if you're a Korean person, you can just go there freely. You don't need a. Alright, I need to go somewhere. I need to go to the grocery store. Alright, so. Yeah, I hope that helped you. Um, Leave some comments if you're um, trying to come here or... Uh, oh yeah, you know what? I want to talk about people that are coming in and out. I've, I've, I know someone who left here and, and to America and came back. So basically what, what, you, what he had to do was take a PRC test, which is really expensive here. It's like 200 bucks to take a PRC test and it's like 72 hours before you get to the airport. And then, and then you go to the country and then, you know, if they have some sort of like quarantine, Depends on which country, depends on which country you go to, but yeah, that, uh, the guy I know, he got the PRC test, left, went to America, and then came back and then did a 14-day quarantine. But now if you have the vaccine, they're going to be able to just go in and out freely, I think. I know right now, too, you can go to Phuket, and that's what, that, that was one place that we were thinking about going, just getting a plane ticket to Phuket, but it's like 600 bucks. Because you do have, because not a, there's not a lot of flights going to Phuket, so you got to take one of those expensive ones, and it's like 600 bucks from here to Phuket, and you'd have to stop by Hong Kong first, which I don't know how they would do it if you know if you had a vac vaccine. And Phuket is open to people who have the vaccine, so if you have the vaccine, you don't have to wait for anything; you just go straight there, and um, you don't need to do like quarantine or anything like that. But um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, um, I'm kind of in lingo now because I'm not working. But um, that plus this crazy virus that's happening. But um, yeah, hope this hope this video helped you. Um, might take I might take a little bit of a break here and there. You know, I, I, a couple of weeks ago, I was thinking, um, you know, I'm going to because like this, the, the sub count has been kind of decreasing in, on this channel because it was at like a steady 60 a month for a, for like a couple months, like a half a year now. But I'm not sure if it's because of the algorithm or it's because people in America are going out now <laughs> because, um, you know, things are open. But I also think I was watching this other video as well as um, if, if your channel does the same every single time, it's going to kind of put you in the same level. I don't know if that makes sense. So, so I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'm going to try to push it and try to make some 
some interesting videos and I still get the same views I still get the same um, you know I'm, there's nothing that's changing with my viewership it's, it's only the sub count so um, I tried for a week or two it's kind of the same the sub count went up a little bit but um, you know I, I think just want to take a, a little bit of a break so um, you know I was posting every single day uploading every day I try to upload every single day but um, right now I think you know if I want to take a break I'm gonna take a break um, but I'm always trying to I always try to upload at like 8 30 that's my time 8 30 every night here so uh, you know if you're in America it's usually like 7 in the morning um, so I try my best to 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 um, this cute little dog I want this kind of dog French pull dog so cute yeah so I, I, I try to upload at least every day at 8 30 Japanese time so it's probably like 7 a.m. America time depending where you live and um, yeah I'm, this video might be up Monday so and I'm gonna go to a couple places this week and um, yeah 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 see once I get started I can't stop I just want to keep going hopefully I can get to a thousand and start doing some live streams that sounds a lot of fun where I can kind of interact with you guys um, live where I'm just kind of talking to myself right now and then just putting it uploading it on to YouTube but um, if you guys watched all the way through thank you so much um, I really appreciate uh, your support for these long bicycle vlogs I'm not sure how much longer I could do it I know I keep saying that um, but I'm I'm trying every time to um, make them nice and long um, but um, yeah thank you for watching and um, you know have a good week and see you guys goodbye